guys, what's up? Welcome back to Gals on the Go podcast. It's Brooke, Danielle, and it's Anna. Yay! <laughs> we have Anna Hyde in the studio with us. She is a pediatric nurse, a YouTuber. She went to University of South Carolina, so we're SEC girlies. Ooh, you were yes. a cheerleader there too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Am I missing anything else? Like you just do it all, and it's amazing. <laughs> and we were saying you have so many friends, which we're gonna get into. <laughs> the girl does, it truly right. does it all. We're so excited. TikToker. To I mean, like I feel like I have to give that to you too. Taylor Thank Swift you. fan. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. That honestly is a lot of the time. <laughs> there, I'm like obsessed. Like the Taylor Swift content from you honestly gives me life. Thank you. How many concerts have you been to? Oh my god, uh, three. Three. Three of the yeah. eras. Yeah, were. yeah. two were here, and then the third in LA. That oh, saga sucks. was incredible to follow. The, the like outfits. getting the tickets and the like, oh, yes. I'm, yeah, like, well, the she outfits. Get it, she got it. Which outfit? Yes. She, she kept them on the toes. Unreal. <laughs> well, we're so excited. We got you right before your move, which we'll get into. Yes, we we're like, yes. Yes. how can we make this work? No, no, really, this is like happening. my goodbye, like saying yeah. my peace to New York, like final statement. Yeah. <laughs> final, final statement. statement. It's like Barbara Walters. Yeah. Like, yeah. And what closing leaves. remarks. She's leaving New York, you guys. She's leaving us. I know. So sad. But you guys are always traveling. I'm not worried. We'll yeah, we're totally, <laughs> totally, totally. We will be coming to Charleston to visit you. Spoiler yes. alert, she's moving to Charleston, yes. which we're okay. going to talk about. Um, cool. So you guys just got a little sampler of this episode. Yeah, you did. A little yep. tease. Um, but before that, we did ask Anna to prepare her fave and rec uh, so that she's included. Like a true gal on the go. Yeah, true mm-hmm. gal on the go. Yeah. The whole episode. We have so much to talk about. Um, but like, how were y'all's weekends? Did we oh, fun? you want to catch up? <laughs> <laughs> a little catch up in Munster. How was your, how was your weekend? That how feels like, how was your summer? You know, when you get back to school and you're like, so how like was your summer? Oh, I know. <laughs> hags. hags. No, I know what you mean, hags though. Yeah. Before. Well, I, honestly, Brooke, I just have a question. So you were supposed to go to Izu. You're supposed to go to this whole music I was, festival. I was. I was I supposed canceled. to go. I was. I only had a ticket for one day, yeah. Friday. It was Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, and Friday, you know, I started getting ready. The, t- the concert was supposed to, or festival, whatever, it's a day mm-hmm. festival, it's supposed to start at, I think like the doors open at like 2 p.m. or something. I wasn't gonna go to, you know, a little bit later. Yeah, yeah, so it's like 11 a.m. I'm, <laughs> I'm getting ready. I'm like, you know, it's an early pregame day, like we're getting ready. Um, and my boyfriend texted me, he's like, it's canceled. And I was like, I, you're joking. Like, like yeah, you're, you're joking. I thought it was like a prank. I go to the Instagram, they posted an Instagram, like with the, like the comments turned up. It was like, sorry guys, like we're, we didn't set up in time. The stages weren't ready. Well, is get like, them ready. I know. I know. You must have known. And the fact that it was going to be ready the next day for day two, I don't understand. So they did, ma- they opened up the second day like late. I didn't have a ticket oh. for the second day. They opened it up late, but the stages just weren't finished. And apparently it was like a really chaotic festival. They hit capacity on, I think it was day two. Like, so they stopped letting people in at like 7 p.m. because they oversold it to make up for the Friday mm-hmm. tickets. It was just a shit show. So did you get like refunded? Like what yeah, do they do gonna, with the day one people? They'll refund. I feel like up. it's like a whole mess though. So and you probably I, wouldn't like, have had a good time if you went, like with mm-hmm. it being so totally crowded. Yeah. And then you went to like a parking lot party. Oh <laughs> <yeah>. question. <laughs> Sorry. So then we went to uh this is so crazy. We mm-hmm. found this bus a few like a year ago. It was mm-hmm. I was like walking through the East Village with uh, my boyfriend, like a group of friends, whatever, and we found this bus playing like EDM music and they were all dancing. It was like an open bus, like a re- redone sort of thing. Mm-hmm. And we're like, this is so crazy, what is this? We found out that it's just this bus, it's called City Soul NYC, oh and gosh. they just go around the city and park until they're told to move by people. Like, so, so literally they do pop-up locations. <laughs> oh it's not gosh. a set location. Until they so they drive around, trouble. they go Manhattan, Brooklyn, Queens, like all around until they get in trouble. And then they, and they just play music. They have a DJ, oh. like live DJing on it. And it's so fun. So I've seen Do they the, like post where they're at? Yes, they post the address. It's oh so cool. So we were like, what are we going to do? You know, we didn't have tickets to anything else. Then like all the artists are doing pop-up events, but they're like kind of expensive. You know, it's like hundred dollar tickets, whatever. Mm. So we were like, okay, what can we do that's like efficient that everyone can go or they were selling out, you know? So it'd be mm. like, I got four tickets, but we have a group of 10, you know, yeah, like we're all yeah. like scrambling. We're like, let's go to this bus. Like so they posted, <laughs> crazy. That's they posted so cool. the address. It was like a random street in Brooklyn, literally the entrance to like some sort of like Frito-Lay facility like mm. one of the like a distribution yeah. center i guess there's like trucks coming in we're in an active <laughs> driveway but it was so fun that's so thrilling it was oh, so wow. thrilling and then the cops that's did so shut weird. it down at one point and then they moved to a new location were oh. you there when they shut it yeah down? the cops come they're like Ooh, all right guys the again. cops are here yeah, yeah, yeah. Giving yeah. High school. it did feel like that um and then they were like okay you guys have follow us to our new location we fell off at that point but we were there for hours it was really fun that is so fun. yeah is, is that's it amazing okay the concert it was edm yeah okay yeah. and then was the bus EDM? Yes, it was. Yeah, okay, it was DJs on the bus. Girly. I am an EDM girly. Yes, I, I do like beats and bops and beats and bops. Yeah, I do, yeah, and I do and like the beats and bops. But I would recommend like it's so. That's the thing about New York. Not to like you're gonna be like I'm mentally. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, you can't change my mind. No, I know. She is sad. <laughs> sorry, sorry. But, 
But it really is like, where else would that happen? Like, oh, where else would so something true. like this? I mean, I guess it could happen like anywhere. Like in Charleston. But it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the bus. yeah, you know what I mean? Like, where they post their address and they're like, all right, guys, the cop shuts down, next location. Like, yeah, no, you know, And just like popping up wherever. And like the DJs that were playing at the festival were playing on the bus. So they were like bigger DJs. Yeah. Because it got canceled and they were like, I'm still going to play for my fans. Like, you <laughs> I know, love like that. that energy. They could have been like, oh, I'm going to go chill then. Yeah. And get their money or whatever. But that's awesome. No, they did it for the fans. I'm glad so you that guys, was like, found something random. to do that was like still fun. Yeah, like, it didn't ruin your night. You know, you have to just like keep going with that energy. Yeah. I feel like no, once it like affected to, like, me. I was like, oh my god, Brooke. Had- she was she clearly like, concerned about it. Like, right? <laughs> she had a whole weeks. party and outfit. Like uh-huh. her friend was coming into town. Like, yes, I planned for like a while, and then everybody's plans just got scrambled because some people had tickets to some stuff. You know, mm-hmm. like it just Ugh. versus like a big festival where it's like anybody can come. Like we all yeah. have tickets. Yeah. So. That was that. That was my weekend. How was your weekend? Well, Danielle went to Miami, so I guess we could talk about that a little oh bit. God, and oh, then, and then I will talk about her. I feel her like weekend. you were just there. <laughs> I literally, I think I've been to Miami four times this year. I'm obsessed. <laughs> I'm obsessed. Well, because we were like wanting to do a trip. It was so lovely. We just went. I went with um, a couple of my friends and we relaxed. We had like one big night, but it's so funny. You know, when you're like not in the mood to go out, but you don't want to say anything to your friends. Yes. Yes. And you're like, all right, like, yeah, let's have like a night. Yeah, sure. We could go to the club after whatever. Yeah. And we were all kind of just like sitting there and we're like, okay, this is fun. Like, should we go out? And we're all just going, mm, you know. Mm-hmm. And we just basically, we had <laughs> no the, one took the lead. No one took the lead. The first night, we actually, um, we had a night. We went to this place called Sexy Fish, which we went oh, to well, on the Revlon trip. Been there. Oh my gosh, it is the most fun you'll ever have. Like, it is so fun there's a dj it's good food it's good drinks it's good like atmosphere the bathroom, yeah, the bathroom really pretty i've heard my friend took yeah so you spent half the night in the bathroom which is no, strange literally. to say but it's but so strange to say. Yeah. it's like yeah. a thing to go to the bathroom like the waiter came back and two of our friends were gone he's like oh they're in the bathroom like it's a thing. Yeah. <laughs> there's like seats and stuff in the bathroom oh my like God. yeah there's yeah, like, oh, yeah. like sitting area yeah it's gorgeous um it's gorgeous it's gorgeous <laughs> but um <laughs> it really we, is. that night we were like having fun we were making friends and so then we decide we're going to go to 11 the infamous 11. And we get there and there are lines out the wazoo. Like we're trying to finesse. So honestly, it's just not working. I'm not a finesser. I'm not one to like walk and be like, hey, like, let us in. Like that's just so. The trying I to cut the line. Cutting. I hate it. it. Like it wasn't, they weren't trying to cut the line. They were, well, yeah, I guess they were. They were trying to go up to the bouncer and like see, you know, what can we do? And I just like literally wanted to pass away. Mm-hmm. So we um, left. It was very embarrassing. It was very humbling. So you me. showed up, waited for a little bit. Then yeah. Turned I was kind of like, yeah. guys, I've got the Uber. Like we can just go. It's like, <laughs> No one same, wants to admit defeat. Was this the same night you guys were like, should we go out, should we go out? Or no, this okay, was, was like, the first you made it night. Far. No, yeah, yeah. No, 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 honestly so true. No, that was the first <laughs> night. The first night was like our big night. Like I literally threw up at, okay. you know, that uh, kind of vibe. Where did you go out that night? Se- we were literally at Sexy Fish. Oh, that was the all night. Out. Oh, like it's oh, like it turns into when we were there. At, like I think it was starting to turn yeah. into a club with them. It's like a whole everyone standing up like in front of the DJ, like away oh, from wow. the tables. Like it's like a oh, thing. Okay. Yeah, That's so it was fun. really nice. Very cool. Um, and we were take, taking shots the whole nine yards. But then the <sighs> next couple nights, we were all like, I think that was enough, and we would just do long out. dinners. I love a long. Dinner. I'm such yeah, a dinner and so drink nice. and home girl. Yeah, yeah, dinner drink home. So it was it's really something nice. about the arc from like. 22, 23 to 24, 25, that really yep. Yes. Yep. I feel like that's the big art. Because post-grad, you're trying to like, I still got it, I still got it. Yep. And then you're like, I don't want it. <laughs> you don't want it anymore. No, a thousand percent. It was so nice. So that was my weekend. And I got some more tan, which I was really yeah, happy about. Great. And it was just really relaxing, other than the first night. So yeah, how was, how, what have you, I guess for you, are weekends always weekends? Dude, with your schedule? No. Good question. <laughs> like, uh, my, I was off during the week because, when you're newer, you kind of have to work more the holidays. So, like, mm. I was laboring on Labor Day, you know? Yeah. And so, you don't just work one shift. Like, when you do a holiday, you do probably, like, three in a row. Okay. And so, I was off the first couple of days because my friend Michaela is visiting. She's actually here. <laughs> so, girl. I didn't know, but they don't see her. But, yeah. So, yeah. she's with me. And so, she was visiting. But with the nurse's schedule, they book our schedule. Like, they our October schedule just came out, which obviously I'm not here for. But mm-hmm. they make it two months in advance. So, she booked her flights earlier and I was like, okay, I'm gonna request it off. But sometimes they have to mess with the schedule mm. and like the newer people's gets more messed with, mm-hmm. obviously, like it should, like, yeah, whatever. And so they messed with mine. So she came the first to the fifth and they put me on two, three, and four. And like when you work at night, mm. it's like not like you can do things. Like I have to go work the second. I work 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. I'm a night shift nurse. When I say night shift nurse, I feel like everyone doesn't like understand. It's like 7 p.m. to get off at 7 a.m., home at 8 a.m., sleep at 9 a.m and then sleep all day. So like, not only did I miss, like I'd have to sleep before, and then I'd have to work at night, and then I'd have to sleep the next day, like I can't, like, so I was so worried about her, but she had such a good time doing stuff on her own, and then I found a switch with one of my sweet coworkers, took one of my shifts, 
So I got off the last day. So we could spend like yesterday oh, together and nice. stuff. So it was super nice. But yeah, no, I worked the weekend and then I'm off this week, which is like super annoying because, okay, so you guys know like your managers and stuff, like mm -hmm. they're off on the weekends. And so it's annoying when I like am at work on the weekends and I'm ready to work and I'm like doing my emails yeah, at night right. and then I'm like, nobody's answering nobody's gonna answer me like everyone else you're in work mode yeah, yeah. no that Nobody is else the worst is. i get in work mode a lot like in the middle of the night or like right before i'm about she to go does. to bed she does. it's and like I'm the 11 a.m i mean 11 p.m like texts come through i'm like i'm gonna <laughs> talk <laughs> eyes are closing i'm like yes. look at this when you're ready but this is when i'm in my zone you know yeah, yeah. same brooke's like a 7 a.m person so i'm like okay eyes just opened like I'm let me my get zone. my coffee yeah yeah, yeah yeah um but that is so funny i bet that's so interesting for you it is and at first i like liked it because i was like like I'm, I'm like that. I'm work mode at night, so I was like, I'll be so good at night shift, yeah. and I am. Like I do function good, but like, it comes to a point where you like, miss like, being on the same schedule as everyone. Like sometimes I used to be like, yes, like home, good, good luck everyone with your day, but like now I'm kind of like, dang, like I'm missing so much sun. I'm missing like you feel like nocturnal and like, mm -hmm. I'm, like I'm wasting the whole day, but you yeah. have to. You or else you'll be sleep. sick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, that's so important. I so like when you go home, you can sleep. Like 9 a.m. you're yes. exhausted. I mean, you must be exhausted. When I'm, so much. Yeah, when I'm in between shifts, it's like I have to literally sleep that whole day until work. I'll get up and work out, and people at work even think that's crazy. Because, mm -hmm. like, it's like, let me put it, like, when I get back, I'll fall asleep 9 a.m. That's like you guys go to bed 9 p.m. Mm -hmm. And then I have to get up 4 to go work out. That's like 4 a.m. So that's like sleeping 9 p.m. to 4 a.m. Mm. Versus, oh like, I know, I like get it. How that's do like you, so weird. But then, like, today's an off day. So how do you adjust? Like, I Off feel like days it's are so weird adjusting. because I didn't work last night, but okay, let's go the night before when I got that off. So I came back. I was so dumb. And I, I told her I booked a soul cycle class because I wanted to take her. She's never oh, been. We fun. did it yesterday. It was so fun. But I tried to book the 12 a.m., 12 p.m. Taylor Swift one because we're both uh -huh. huge oh, Amazing. But that was so dumb because then I would only sleep two hours mm. after work. And like, so I woke up and I said, oh, no. We're, we're rescheduling. So we, we did a 5.30 one. It yeah. wasn't Taylor Swift, but it was still really fun. We liked it. But yeah, you just have to get, off, get up earlier on your last day so that you can get up. I schedule a workout class so that I can like get up, have something to do, tire myself out so you can't go back to bed that night yeah. this, and get back into a normal life schedule. Good I give you props for doing well, it. I God mean, bless you. Like, especially just go, the back and forth, I feel like would be a lot. It's kind of like I don't want to equate it because it's like traveling internationally, almost like with the time it's like zone. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 That's like a good a, comparison. Yeah, but way obviously but you're, you're doing working, way more so yeah, way, yeah, way, 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 watching way more intense. <laughs> yes, it's like it is the it's just so back and forth. That's why I try to group mine in three shifts in a row because then you can get like four to five off days. Mm -hmm. Versus like it's so annoying when they put you your one on one off one on one off, and I'm like, there's mm. no point to even switch back to a night schedule. Totally. Right? Because by the time you get in the rhythm of it, it's back, back. and forth and back it's and forth. It's very abrupt. That's why yeah. I, when I move, I'm going to look for a job and, like, really, like, try for day shift. Because, like, yeah. I need that life back. Because even on day shift, you can go work, get off at 7 p.m. You'll be tired, but you can go out to dinner with your friends right. and, like, mm -hmm. go get a drink or something. So, Did you go into this, sorry that I don't know this, wanting to do night shifts? Or was it just kind of how it worked out with the job here? It's kind of a rite of passage. As a new oh. grad nurse, It's I'm finding out it's everywhere. Like, all my friends mm -hmm. all over South Carolina, Georgia, like, Everyone starts on nights. Gotcha. Um, the place I'm applying in Charleston, I heard they do a rotating schedule. So, like, you do days and nights. And my friend was like, if you just plug in, like, two night shifts to schedule, you'll be fine. Because some people like it. Oh. Hmm. So, that would be nice. Versus here, like, there's a weight shift for day shift. And I just got off of it. But, like, I'm leaving. Like, yeah, they just yeah. offered me a day shift position. I was like, okay, well, it's okay. Oops. <laughs> um, so, it's kind of a rite of passage. Because there are some people who, like, stay on nights. Like, there's some moms. It works better mm. with them. They can go get their kid on the bus, their kid's at school, and they sleep. They're super women. Oh, I don't know how they wow. do it. Because they come home. So I can't even do my skincare God. routine. And they come home and they, like, take care of kids, take their kids to school. Like, and I'm like, I don't. Like, I think they're the super woman. It's crazy. Goodness. Yeah, I think that for a lot of working moms in general. But that, on top of it, I think about that all the time because I grew up with a mom who worked, and I'm like, how? Like, I don't even have me time, and I wouldn't even say that I have like a crazy demanding job. Like, I just yeah. does your time management just get better as you get older? Like, it I don't has understand. To. How's everyone doing it so well with kids? Yeah. It's like <laughs> I think you're just also so motivated for your kids. So yeah, like, yeah. Right. I bet something yeah. like comes over. Like, yeah, a new I know, wave I know. of energy. Yeah. You're like, I have mounds to feed. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, seriously. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I and know. and a husband. He can help. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I we think can, having um, a support system in general. I think yeah, living no, near family too, like. 
your grandma, mom, like, um, mom, yeah, dad, yeah. like, et cetera. No, I think that's so helpful. I, yeah, that's a whole other ball game that I can't even think about mm-hmm. because it's crazy. Should we do our fave and wreck? <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay. We, we have tangents here. In yeah, we do. That. No, but that was great. I'm glad we got to talk about yeah, it Yeah, I, I wanted to kind of learn about your schedule, too. I think it's so interesting. It's yes. The planner in me. Yeah, it is. Okay, well, I'll, I'll kick it off then. Get with, us going. Um, what I will you? kick it off with my favorite. Um, I am loving the... What is the exact name? The Tarte Marcuja Juicy Lip Cheek Shift and Color Changing Blush. I have it right here because I was oh. using it. Oh, she she's got it. So into well, I was using it as my like lip product today. Danielle and I went to the Bruce Springsteen concert with Tarte, which was just, it was oh. great, but we are not the demo really of Bruce Springsteen. Yeah. So it was, we learned a lot about Bruce We had Bruce so many people fans. like stopping us on our way to like our seats like, are you guys fans? Like, we had so many yeah. questions. It was so funny. Yeah, yeah. Because it was definitely like an older demographic, I would say, but also just like... Uh, I don't know. It was very interesting, though. But he was a great performer. I won't lie. I don't know. Oh. (laughs) You know, born in the U.S. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Very American. I might get flamed for that, but, like, I know that song. I know that song. And he has, like, a famous, like, Christmas song. Like, he'll do, like, a cover of Santa Claus is Coming to Town. I've definitely heard it. He's a classic, like, American artist, you know? Um, So we went to this concert. Tart. This was my first, like, event with Tart. They... They put on a show. Have you ever done an event with Tarte before? No, but I've seen. Oh, they did a healthcare one in the city. It was wow. really cute, and they invited like not even influencers, like all oh nurses. It was so sweet. I love that. They go yes. all out all the time. Wow, that's so great. No, they they blow it up. I feel like that's like where the marketing budget goes mm-hmm. is like to the events. Yeah, so smart. And it was decorated so well. It had all the products, you know, like advertised whatever. And then I saw these, and I was like, oh, these were the viral. The, like the color changing blushes. This one actually is pink, but like you know, they go green to pink on your skin or whatever. Yeah. I have been loving it. I feel like it's actually quite long lasting and I like the color that it does. You have to be light with it. Danielle went in with a heavy hand. Heavy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it was you, giving theater makeup. It was. First when I went in. But if you go in with a light hand, I feel like it's also the type of thing that you could, I'm not one to like touch up my blush on the go, but because it's like almost like a watery consistency, you kind of could like throw it on over your makeup. Yeah. It doesn't about. mess up your makeup, which yes. I thought was really cool. And I, I do need to, I have one too. I need to put it in my purse because I think it is nice to touch up your blush with that. Yeah. It's probably the only thing I would touch up my blush with. So it's lips and blush. blush? Yeah. That is so and I kind of, it looks like lips. It yeah. Is. This color is pink, but like, I think that they all do the same color changing, even if it's blue, like they have like blue ones, but they like turn to the same tone of. Yeah. Pink they don't on stay your, blue. Yeah. yeah. It's just like for fun. Yeah. It's like for fun. They're like, Oh, pick whatever color you want. They're all the same. Yeah. Um, but I do like, I actually really like the idea of the your blush and your lip being the same color. I feel like it's a I really like fine like even I, li- I feel like that's equivalent to like the bronzer and eyeshadow bronzer. Yes. Like it evens you out. Good I hacks. need to do that. Yeah. Yeah. That's smart. So check it out. It's like 20 bucks um, and pretty cool. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Right. Thank you, bro. What are you favoriting? Uh, mine's also a makeup product. Um, so when the Charlotte Tilbury came out with the Hollywood Flawless Filter, I was confused I got it and I like thought it was foundation I was like oh it's a little sheer like I want more full coverage you know the thing that you take out and it's got the yes it makes that like kissing sound when you open it oh you know what I'm talking about are we talking about the flawless filter yeah, yeah. It does. I love it yeah like you know the... what I'm talking about it makes a sound when you open it I'm gonna have to look tomorrow <laughs> yeah you're like I'm twisted it goes... Like it I know what you're like, talking yeah, about. Because like, it's like the brush it's very satisfying. going out of the... I, I think yeah. I know what you mean. When I'm doing those TikToks, I'm like, like... Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah close close to the, yeah. <laughs> Unintentionally. It has a big, like... It looks like almost like a big lipstick wand. Like, yeah, wand. Like That's what I was trying to say. Lip gloss. Like that... Like what you have, yeah. yeah. Doe foot applicator. That was the word I was like, wow, yeah. Oh, that's a big word. I so, but when I first got it, <laughs> I told you YouTubers. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know what that is. Doe foot applicator. That's so true. That's, yeah, so, like, that's literally 2012 what, coded. Yeah. Like, yeah. Um, but when I first got, and I think some people do use it as just, you know, your base and go off, be glowy and amazing. But when I was using, I was like, oh my gosh, you could still see everything. Like it was gave mm-hmm. this nice glow. You're supposed to use it under your foundation. I had no idea. Oh my god, it gives you this amazing glow. I'm obsessed. Yeah. Wait. You know, so, oh my god. Yeah. Cause, cause I also. <laughs> I, you're like, oh. oh yeah, you're like, no. Oh, I'm sorry. Like, you didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> but I also feel like when you put it under, it like, it sometimes I feel like it takes away the glow. But yeah, I know what you mean. It does give you a good base. Yeah, I don't know. This is what I maybe you're supposed to put it above your foundation. I don't know. You're supposed to use it in tandem with foundation, and yeah. I. Didn't realize that, so I like used it, and then I was like, okay, I don't really understand. But then I was talking to my friend, her makeup looked amazing. She was like, I put it under my foundation, and it like looks amazing. So yeah. I was really confused. So I actually got a lighter shade and a darker shade. So I used like the darker shade on my cheeks, and then like the lighter oh, shade. Oh wow! Like, yeah, How I'm like you having fun. It is fun. I like it really evens out your skin. I feel like before you put on the foundation. Yeah, like, it's almost like a primer in a way. It's yeah. not a primer, but 
it like I think you get through skin like one even shade so that when yes. you put the foundation on top it's like you yeah know? but I also do like the idea back to what I was saying before about just wearing it if like you want more of a no makeup look just wearing that with like you know maybe Brooks Maracuja yeah a little lip <laughs> shift lip shift or whatever it's called <laughs> if you can combine your product yeah and like a little brow I feel like that's what I started doing because I. I've always put it under the foundation and stuff, and I do love it. And now I'm so, now I just found out that like without, I'm like okay, that's my no make that can be yeah. a no makeup look. So I feel like we were on the opposite yeah. page, but both of them are like good to know. It has lots <laughs> of uses, is what I guess is the, yeah mm-hmm. yeah. It's a multi use. It's a multi use. We love but Charlotte. I was just amazed. Charlotte. Love you, Charlotte. We go way back with Char. <laughs> totally. Kidding. It also feels like you're about to run out every time. I but know. It's always in there. It's always in there. You're so right. <laughs> so what are you loving right now, Anna? I'm loving, um, okay, so this is music. I just Love. went to the Noah Khan concert. Mm. And you know when you go to a concert and then like, like I knew his music, but like not super well. And yeah. then now I literally know every word. Like now I'm obsessed and play it. Like his whole, my friend made a concert playlist. And so I just had that on repeat. And like I have 12 hours of every single night to have stuff, something, not oh, stuff, because yeah. yeah. I'm like doing stuff. But like, so I have that on repeat and it's not, it's not country. What is the version? Do you guys know? Singer what? songwriter. Like folky. Yeah, yeah. It's it's like is Acoustic. that a ver- I don't know yeah. what it would call it because genre. I know. That it, is, like, he's not country. And I was like, okay. He's I definitely not country. I like Jack Johnson is like singer songwriter music. Yeah. Like it's like kind of like you know, a man John. and his guitar. Like he's uh, kind yeah. of John Mayer. I don't know. I don't know. We hate. What is it? I know. I was like, oh no. <laughs> I said John Mayer, but then we have Taylor Swift over here, so I get nervous. I get nervous. No, I get it. Well, he he doesn't he have a country song? Is Dial what is Dial drunk? All I know is that Adam was playing that fucking sorry. Brooke is not a huge song. Song. <laughs> no, he was playing that song. He was like, play Dial Drunk. I was like, this is a pregame. We cannot yeah, listen was, to Dial. It is oh that one's a little gosh. folky country for sure. Yeah. All right, I'm just Googling Noah Khan. No. Yeah, like, see, it is genre. Just the chill vibes though. Because I got like slammed because I accidentally said country on TikTok and everyone was like mad at me and I was like, okay, but it gives the vibe. It's like, totally people yeah. Yeah. Kind of Zach y Folk pop. I was close. Oh, pop. okay. Folk pop. I mean, this is what the first Google is telling me. So, well, everyone go for listen. indie. Yeah, indie. Alternative pop rock. We've got a lot that they're giving us here. So, wow. But, yeah. So you're loving Noah Khan. And it just like it's. Get, I like have moments like the pack up your bags. I'm like, okay, like I'm. No, I know. <laughs> I I definitely enjoy a Noah Khan moment. Did you? Was it at Radio City? Mm-hmm. That's which was so fun amazing. Too. I've only seen Broadway shows there, which are also really cool. But it was so cool, and everyone was like, I think everyone was there was such a hardcore fan. Like the second he came out, like it was. I was like, whoa, it's so loud. That's so cool. It was. He's blowing so up fun. right now. He is. Uh-huh. It was really cute. The people in front of us. Um, went to camp with him so they like knew him because wow. we were pretty close and s- s- yeah so they, like, they knew him from camp and like when he was like not that huge and just like, yeah, singing at camp, camp with yeah it, that's so cool <laughs> imagine like you're like oh yeah he used to just bring his guitar so <laughs> yeah. crazy i know yeah. that is really cool, i love actually. seeing that like when people blow up really quickly because mm-hmm. then they have people who knew them like last year mm-hmm. yeah it's literally their... so fast i it completely was... agree on concerts too it makes you so much more passionate about the music whatever like i am mm-hmm. i'll go to a concert for someone then some i'm their number one fan like truly. i know i'm like couldn't i have done this before like <laughs> yeah no but mm-hmm. you know you have a fonder appreciation for them no because yeah because then in my head i do this for all taylor swift concerts like now every single time i hear a song I see her like little move, like you yeah. see it. Yeah. Like I love it. And now like, him, like I'm awesome. like, oh, I remember when he did, like you know, That's like the little so move. True. The positive association. No, I mean, like Brooke mm-hmm. and I were both like obviously into Taylor Swift, but then I think the concert. I'm sure you're seeing this a lot. It just converts you, like to yeah. full on like obsessed. fan obsessed. No, I mean, yes. I'm not gonna sit here and say like I've been obsessed my whole like uh, I've loved her my whole life, but I've like this has brought a whole new like the level. Eras tour brings it out. Yeah, of people. and I yeah. hate when people are like, you weren't before. Da, da, da. It's like. Okay. Well, we but are I, now, yeah. so it's okay. Like we yeah, all are. I I'm right there with you. That narrative for anything, whether it anything. be like a, a book series, a movie, sports. Like, oh well, you're not a real fan. It's like Shouldn't if you we were a happy? real fan, you would be wanting more people yes. to co- come yes. with you and join the fandom of the thing that you love. Yeah. That's my take on that. And, oh my god. And shaming totally agree. people for wanting to join a fandom or have an interest in something, even if it's a slight interest, is weird behavior. Like, no, it's so it. odd. Yeah. It's like so you can't. You it's can't, gatekeepy. It's, it's like it's oh, gatekeepy. That's, no, that's my artist. It's like let's all like Taylor Swift. Yeah, you know? I know. Like so, what if you don't like this album but you like this album? Like yes, it's not so it's your fine. vibe. I can't force you to listen to Lover, but not Evermore. Like, <laughs> yeah. It's it's mind boggling. Yeah. Truly. Yeah. yeah. Um, I do agree with that. We message. welcome everyone. We welcome everybody <laughs> here in this Anna safe speaks. space. Anna <laughs> <speaks>. <laughs> um, 
All right. What's, what are you oh, my rec of the week? Yeah. Um, I read a great book this week uh, called The Breakaway by Jennifer Weiner. I just love her books. If you were looking for, like, kind of Ellen, Ellen Hildebrand, like, inspired books, like, she does great summer reads. Um, and this one, it's actually about a group that goes on – like a bike trip, which doesn't sound like something that would be my normal genre, yeah. but it's told from the perspective of multiple characters, which I love a book like that, where it's like, mm-hmm. you know, there's like five storylines going on at once. Yeah. It's like you have like the young 14 year old girl, you have like the mom of the girl, you have like, it, it's very, like, then you have the leader of the trip. Like, it's very, very interesting. They're all going through their own stuff, and I liked it a lot. I so love I would that. suggest. Good end of the summer, like. Is it a day bike trip? No, it's like a, like a 10 day, like, you know, they go through, like, yeah. They, Around the city? um no like upstate oh, yeah, new york oh, yeah. Oh. yeah yeah this is a thing bike trips like this i don't necessarily have interest but i'm kind of, like i think it's kind of cool yeah. Yeah. you go and there's like a van that follows you and just in case like you don't feel like riding that day or like you know your bike you, you have to change your tire or whatever and you go so it's like 20 people like or whatever on this bike trip but the van follows you just in case in anything case happens and well. then you stop every night at like a hotel that's so cool. And it's organized. You just like sign up. It's like camp for adults. Kind I of. love that. <laughs> yeah. Adults. How many books have you read this year? That's a good question. Um, I don't think I'm at my quota though. I said my goal was <laughs> oh, 50. No. I'm not. I got to keep oh, reading. No. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's not the end of the year yet. You have some no, time. No, no. I do have some we're time. Uh, but we're entering like a busy season as we keep saying. So I, I feel like in the winter when I'm like just down and in my apartment, like I am reading. I'll read a book a day. Like, True, because oh, it'll be yeah. cold. So then you have like exactly. time to stay and read. Up. Cozy up. I'm like, January's just depressing. Like, let me just read, you know, to yeah. get through it. Uh, but I think I'm at like maybe 30. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, maybe 30. I need to get out of my, I'm in my, like, Colleen Hoover, like, new reader era. But we're working on it. it's a fun era to be in. I I really am enjoying it. I want to finish all of hers before I move on to another genre. I'm determined. Oh, wow. I've read a lot of them. I've read most of them. I would say, like, three-fourths. I feel like I noticed that you were going deep in the library of Colleen. Yes. Do you have any favorites that stand out? Um... November 9th, I love. I feel like Great. everyone either loves or hates that so one. So good. Loved. I really like that. I feel like, do you feel this way? I feel like that goes back to what we were saying about the um, gatekeeping with Taylor Swift and stuff. I feel like a lot of people who read it are like, like, will shame people who like, oh, yeah. just start reading Colleen oh, Hoover. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? You are so right. And it's like, I'm just starting to read. Like, I'm just yeah. trying here. Just I feel starting. that with re- read shaming on anything, like, they'll be like, all you read is like those books that are like, you know, like light core porn or whatever. And it's like, so what? Like, I like it. Like, <laughs> yeah. You know? like, 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 I like the smut. Like, yeah. And like, it's not like I'm sitting here telling you like, I'm a reader too. Yeah. And then, like, then that'd be like, okay, girl, you read yeah, yeah, Colleen yeah, yeah. Hoover. Like, but you are reading though. That's the thing. It's like, okay. It, you what still, defines reader? Like, yeah, honestly, like I read. I yeah, think my not problem a with book. reading, like, what, what I know it's words. Yeah. yeah, I can never shut off my mind. Like, do you guys have this problem with our jobs? Like, I will be sitting on my couch watching YouTube, and I'm like, okay, Anna, but you could be like editing a TikTok. Oh, you could yeah. be like getting inspiration. You could be doing this. You could be like doing something productive. And I'm like, girl, just chill out. That's so Danielle Carolyn coded. <laughs> that is like, the most, like that is I like can't literally focus. her. Yeah, like, no. I, so you can shut it off and be like, mm, yeah, pretty. So, she's gonna be like, I'm putting my phone down. I'm reading. I'm like, yeah. What? I mean, I still, like, I'm tempted to look at my phone, but I'm okay to, like, not work, but I'm just, like, I'll scroll, you know? Like, yeah. that kind of energy. Mm-hmm. I'm okay with, like, being, like, eh, I'm out of ideas for, the, like, the weekend. I'm <laughs> like, rotting I'm today. Yeah. <laughs> but I feel like Danielle, you, and so I guess you guys are kind of both like that, like, wanting to, like... I feel guilty. It's, like, yeah. a, to- a yeah. toxic thing, It's though. a terrible... It can be good, it's but a... it's also, like, from, like... Yep, mental well being. It helps your drive sometimes, but then other times I'm like, oh my God, when will I ever relax? And I know. I'm really show. focusing on, I mean, we'll get into that, but like when I move, just redoing everything. Like, oh, I'm excited slowly. for this. Me too. I'm so excited to see so this. Excited. Okay, wait, we got to finish these okay. and then okay. I'll get into all No, I, I, we have so many questions. I'm like excited <laughs> for you. Um, my rec is literally so basic, but I just must instill this in everybody Pinterest. Mm, As yes. it, Speaking of inspiration and watching TV, I'm on <laughs> Pinterest. Like, for outfits, like, it is amazing, especially for fall because there's just more because sometimes for summer outfit and it's like, okay, I don't have that dress. But for mm-hmm. fall, if you're looking up, you know, fall outfits 2023. Like layers. You're, yes, there's have layers. Those. So you're like, oh, I have a black blazer. I have a white t-shirt. I have blue jeans. I have a black belt with a silver buckle. You know, you're it's right. so fun to kind of, and it's kind of like a for you page. We've talked about this before on the podcast, but I've been really using it even for, like, apartment inspo like i'm not redoing my apartment by any means but i've been like you know changing out my nightstands mm-hmm. doing little things and going back to my board
boards of like apartment inspo that I made a couple years ago or that I've slowly, it's just amazing what inspiration you get. And the point of Pinterest, which it, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, you're supposed to be able to click on the photo and it takes you a link to what it is. Yes. That's how it started. Yeah. Sometimes it's like a dupe. Sometimes like a yeah. weird yeah, website. Goes, no, yeah. I know. I might get a virus from being on this, but like, <laughs> I know. Yeah, I know. know. Like, it's, it's, it's a little wonky, but sometimes it's like, wow, okay, so here's the dress. Boom, done. Um, I just think it's really great even for, you know, cooking. Like, I, yeah. I'm not – that's Pinterest is the one place I go for recipes. Like I don't know, I just like how it's written out. Mm, you're so right. It's so Pinterest. fun. Yeah. It is. I, I have to say, I went on Pinterest this weekend. I did, and I did something that really helped. I archived all my old boards. Great oh, idea. To like yes. clean it up. So it's not deleted. Like I could still reference them, but it won't suggest things for them anymore or suggest me to pin to them because I don't know if you're like me. I literally had hundred, hundred boards of just oh random gosh. stuff from high school. From like, I don't want to yeah. pin it. To this style that. is not old my wedding style info, anymore. Like yeah, random wedding stuff. Info. Oh my gosh. Yes. I'm like this. That's my what dream it's coming wedding. from. It's coming from those old, old boards. So you could archive. It's an amazing feature. Thank you for this tip. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry. I cut you off. No, I need to do that. I also love how there's no likes and no yes, likes. It's mm-hmm. safe. That's why it's not stressful. You're right. And okay, I will say, because I'm crazy and it did stress me out at one point because I, w- I would be stressed. <laughs> I'd be like, okay, like this nail, do I save to like nails or do I save to like inspo or do I save? I like know. I would stress out the board, but my friend... Her name's Paloma, and I was in the Hamptons with her, and she was like, so I have, she has a board, literally, that just, every year she updates it, 23 years, 24 years, so she just changed it 24, saves it, and does a fat, like, beautiful board of whatever she's feeling that day, and I did that, and now I don't stress about what board to save it to. Is this Paloma Meehan? Yes. I'm obsessed Obsessed. I love her. So that's how she gets her aesthetic. Yep. Just one board, and I do it to now, 24 years, and it's just like, it can be if you're looking at cars that day, if you're looking at your room. I mean, I do have, like, for specific things, like, my new room I'm, like, planning, so I have, like, that. Other than that, like, hair, makeup, everything goes in that one board, and it's, like, for that year. soothing. For that year. It's kind of like your character for that year. Because mm-hmm. I'll make one like new character unlocked. Like I make these stupid names. My no, I do too. Boards. And then I have like 20. Like you said like 100. <laughs> yes. And then I'm like, I, okay. I was on my computer for a while. Archive, archive, okay, so archive. archive. I had so many. And do the year That's thing. a really yes. good one. I yeah. love that. I think I'd still be specific with like a nails one. Like a nail Yeah, like certain recipes. ones specific. But, but even like that, aesthetic ones, you can yes. just. I know. I want to yeah, like have a quotes you. board. But no, like, she's changed my life. Are that. quotes boards like outdated? What like, is? Like no, I wanted to make I one of have my one. quotes, but I was like, I, I no, was, like, no. What do I title my quotes board? Like, <laughs> quotes, like I'm so I, bad yeah. at like ti- people are yeah. so good with like Spotify playlist names and stuff. Uh, I'm like, I have nothing cute. And the picture to match the vibe or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and you're so dreamy. You're like, oh, this is such a. Oh my gosh, yeah. I'm like feeling very inspired right like, now. Like, we go on Pinterest I know. <laughs> right after yeah. this. Oh my gosh, wait, so what do you recommend to the gals? Okay, I've been free people girly. Like, oh, so I into it. But specifically, the Hot Shot jumpers. So they mm. have all these different kinds. A w- this week, they came out with the Hot Shot t shirt. Jumper. I saw you post about this. It's I, so I didn't even have it, and I already linked it. <laughs> I was like, I just like, ordered this, it. but I know you guys are going to want this because. Yeah. I live, I love looking like a potato. Like, mm-hmm. I love looking like a little sack. Like, oh my God, I love. Wait, and everyone's sex. like, there's Amazon dupes. That's so good. And I will go for that. But like, I've yeah. been, and I'm normally a dupe girl, but like, a free, I just can't beat it. Mm-hmm. It can't free be beat. Free amazing. They like, really good. So is it free people movement, technically? Or yeah, free people like, movement. Yeah, but it's like all. Crush it. So, so good. good. dude. I walked into that store I, when I was visiting Charleston last weekend and like, free people was closed, but the movement store was open and like, I oh, went ham. Danger. It's impossible to not. The mm-hmm. workout sets, like, and I feel like I will invest in, like, workout stuff because I'm, like, in it every day. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, like, I'm going to invest in, like, cute, like, nice little stuff you can wear to Pilates. But I've been so into them. No, I Maybe love it. Everything. And it's so hot out still. Like, you mm-hmm. can just still wear them constantly. And yeah. just, like, in your apartment when you're doing stuff. Like, lounging. Yes. It's I think so I've nice. been in that because I keep buying, like, or, like, buying stuff that's, like, nice and going out. And I'm, like, you're literally, like, 89% in loungewear. Mm-hmm. Like, let's get some cute put together girl loungewear. That's so true. Not just like big t shirt. <laughs> You're so right. Because I always end up wearing my Aritzia like workout romper. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, okay, I just need to get more things like that. Yeah. It's semi put together or like the Outdoor That's Voices what... exercise dress, wear mm-hmm. that to the ground. So just more things like that. It's a good tip. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, all right, cool. So we got through that. Love that. I do have like one question for you guys, for our audience. What is with everyone posting these Instagram stories saying like last licks of summer? Have you guys seen this? Not. A I've lot. seen like five I have last seen that. licks or just last licks. Is this a new saying or has it been around? 
what is licks? Like, licks. That's I don't like, know. <laughs> yeah. Last is... licks. Like everyone this week. Oh, last licks. Picture of the beach. I, oh. Beach. You just <laughs> picture of the beach. You know. <laughs> You're like it's a picture of the beach. Or last like licks. Yeah. Yeah. captions. Last licks. I last have licks seen a lot of summer. this too. It's a it's a problem. We have to talk. I'm, <laughs> no, I'm I just someone. have someone help us. I don't. I just. Understand. I'm not in on the joke. Like what I is think it? It's like a, one of those like sayings that like it's it's you know oh uh, oh the you know. What are the, like, like just last licks of every, your ice cream? No, like sayings that everybody knows. Like, you know, why would they think there's a bear shit in the woods? Like, yeah, you know, no, like I, one of those. Like, just so it is. Sayings, like, like, so this was said last summer. I just don't remember this. Yeah, and I think okay. that everyone just decided, Never. like, oh, this last summer licks. Yeah. we go hard. Yeah, I noticed it too. Actually, I'm not mad about it. No, I just noticed I, I was clicking through last licks. Like, I'm like, pissed. Yeah. No, I'm literally I'm not mad. I'm it. not a hater. I'm gatekeeping. Last licks. Last licks would make sense. Like, yeah, last licks. Photo dump. Last yes. Flex. Oh. That could be a spin-off. Should, should we start flick? it? That's the title of this episode, Last Flex. <laughs> um, okay, I just like needed to get that off my chest. I literally wrote it down because I just saw it everywhere. I'm gonna have I bet I'm gonna see so many today. I bet Watch. I've just been like all the dumps from Labor Day weekend. I'm, I'm gonna telling see it for you. Sure. It was a lot of stories, which is last flick, so I just had to get that off. My I chest. just did a caption like one last taste of summer with like the ice cream because I posted like ice cream. Okay. So true. I guess that's kind of similar. See, I, I could have done that. last licks so, though because li- like licking ice cream. You gotta yeah. go change it now. You could be a part of the cool. It was a lot yeah. of like, cool people that were doing it too. So I'm like, what is your this? caption? Should be actually the last lick. Of yeah, summer. like yeah. literal yeah. last. Yeah. <laughs> no, I noticed it was a lot of like flexes. Would be like, oh, last licks of summer, like on a yacht. I'm it was like, lots of oh, Hamptons content. Yes, yes, it was yes, lots yeah. of Hamptons last licks. Okay, so that's so. why I'm asking about. Is like, is this a cool club that I'm not a part of? Like, what are we doing? Okay, thank you guys. Part of the last licks. Cool, cool. Mm-hmm. Anyways, um, so we keep talking like, okay, then we'll talk about it later. <laughs> so let's talk about Anna is moving to Charleston. My favorite topic. You know those days where your closet is literally overflowing with clothes, but you just definitely don't have anything to wear. I found Quince and finally have given my closet the upgrade that I desperately needed. I've built out a capsule wardrobe with iconic pieces that can be styled for any occasion. I am so here for a nice basic. It's seriously so nice because you can have like a basic black midi skirt and you can pair that so many ways. You could dress it up, you could dress it down. Quince creates timeless classics that never go out of style. You'll have them in your closet forever, which makes putting together that outfit way easier. Quince has all the capsule wardrobe must-haves, like 100% Mongolian cashmere sweaters from $50, suede and leather jackets, and silk blouses and dresses. Here's the kicker. All Quince items are priced 50 to 80% less than similar brands. By partnering directly with Talk Factories, Quince cuts out the cost of the middleman and passes the savings on to us. And Quince only works with factories that use safe, ethical, and responsible manufacturing practices and premium fabrics and finishes. I love that. I love Quince. I have a couple pieces. I have this beautiful silk skirt from there. My mom's influenced now as well. They have great linen stuff. So take the drama out of planning an outfit and upgrade your closet with Quince today. Go to quince.com slash gals for free shipping on your order and 365 day returns. That's Q-U-I-N-C-E dot com slash gals and get free shipping and 365 day returns. Quince.com slash gals. So... She has a whole YouTube video talking about it, so like she goes super in depth there. Mm-hmm. But we do want a little exclusive here on Gals. Yes. Yeah, of course. When did you start? Because I remember, like, even when we were at Stagecoach, you were like, "I kind of am thinking about moving, whatever." Yeah. When, like, has it always been Charleston? So, okay, well, when I moved to New York, it was a year and a half ago. I moved in January of not this January, but the January before, mm-hmm. and like I came and to keep in mind, New York, like. I feel like, was it for you guys, like, I mean, you lived near here. Yeah. Was it always, like, I'm going to live in New York one day? Like, that was yeah. always your dream. That was never me. That was never, like, my oh. thing. At first, it was, like, I was in L.A., like, something big. And then, whatever, my friend was going there. I was, like, okay, let's do it. So I went, and then, like, I was in that, like, concrete jungle wow phase. And everyone told me, this is either going to last, that phase either lasts a year, and then it either stays or it goes away. And I was, mm. like, Psh. No, it's gonna stay. <laughs> yeah. And then, literally, exactly, I feel like one year, maybe even less than one year, is when I started to turn for me. And so I just like, and I feel like I really went from like high to like low. It wasn't even like, but that's like my personality. Like my friends say, they're like, this is what we love about you is when you love something, you love it like really hard. Mm-hmm. And then when you hate something, you like are done. Like you will not continue with it. Like, and that is me. And it can be like, 
kind of crazy. Like, I feel like a little obnoxious, but like, it's just who I am. Like, mm -hmm. I, I really lean into things mm -hmm. and then I really am done with things. And I feel like life's too short to like, totally. for me to just glide through it. Like, I don't like mm -hmm. gliding and I feel like I'm gliding right now. I feel like I've been gliding the past few months, just kind of like floating. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I really just want to like, take like grasp it you know what i mean definitely and so has it always been charleston that was your question um I, it's always been in the back of my mind because so i went to south carolina and mm, right too. That's, charleston's yeah. like two hours from there mm. and so my best friend mac who i'm actually moving with so her crazy. mom lives there and basically has like a house on it's like a beach house it's in mount pleasant so it's like right near the beach mm. and it's just beautiful and we'd always go there like on the weekends of college and like just have the best weekends ever and when i say like all my best friends are there, like Kaylee, Mac, like all my school friends, our guy friend group, like oh, everyone wow. is there. And so when I go there, I just have literally the best weekends ever and I never want to leave. And like when I tell you that plane lands, like it's just a, mm -hmm. like it overcomes me of just like comfort, happiness. I feel like the brick leaves my chest. I feel like I always have a brick on my chest here, mm -hmm. like no matter what I'm doing. And I think I just realized I was like, it doesn't have to just be a weekend. Like it can, why don't I just like make it my life, you know? And like, I'm from Atlanta. My dad's in Atlanta. My dad's my best friend in the whole entire planet. He seems planet. like the cutest man. No, you I'm guys would absolutely love him. He, he is obsessed. He knows you guys. He's going to listen to this. Oh, really? I, I think he actually listens to this. Oh like he'll listen to episodes. Wow. Same with TK. He, cause he'll watch when I'm in like, he'll watch when I'm home I'll watch on YouTube and I just have like playing oh, and like yeah, I'll yeah. have y'all playing and stuff and so he knows he like knows what's up he knew TK he's obsessed with TK oh for some gosh, reason parents all... love TK yeah, yeah they all love obsessed. TK it's yeah. so funny but we faced yes. up him and it was so cute it was so funny but yeah. so now I'm like I'm not ready to move home to Atlanta yet totally. but like now I can like drive to him like yeah. I'm so excited because like it's just a hassle to like $100 Uber to JFK oh yeah the flight and then the mm. times and then the getting back for night shift I'm like it'll just be so much easier to do that but Charleston is just like the only answer for me right now and That's I've great. just I like see this for you so hard uh -huh. I also feel like the South Carolina to Charleston pipeline is so real same as like UGA to Atlanta That's exactly so what it is I'll, You have so many friends there and like when you go it's just going to be so easy like even I always talk about it on the podcast here like I have I feel like I'm very blessed with a lot of friends but not everyone knows each other so it's not like oh what are we doing this weekend whereas I feel like when yeah. you to Charleston it's going to be like what are we doing this weekend, guys? It's going to be so It'll fun. It'll just be everyone. And, like, that's what I love because, like, here I feel like I also, like, I know a lot of New York is, like, it is on me. Like, it's not, like, when I'm, like, I don't like New York, like, da-da-da. It's also me. Like, obviously, I don't put myself out there mm -hmm. as much as I should because, like, I don't go on dates. I don't, like, mm -hmm. I stopped going out because, like, every time I would go out here, like, I feel like I just get, I come back sad. And I don't know why. And mm -hmm. I'm not blaming New York, but I think it is, like, I don't know You're how to describe it. You're in tune with yourself. Yeah, yeah. and oh, I know I don't enjoy it, yeah, so I'm not yeah. going to do also, it. Also, how do you have the time, my God? I mean, exactly, <laughs> like I... Wondering. Yeah, no. <laughs> no, you are a gal... Like, that is, like, you are stacked. I mean, you have to mm -hmm. just make choices at that point. Yeah, like, exactly. Like, and I feel like that's why you do have such valuable friendships, because you allow that time to... I mean, this is me from an outsider. Mm -hmm. Like, there's no way you could do it all. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like, something has to give, so it's like oh, you're allowing that time that you're not, like, going out on first dates with people, like, to invest in your friendships. And you're yeah. not just, like, going to the bar and, like, getting drunk, whatever. You're There's no time for that. pouring that into, like, meaningful friendships, which is so nice to see. Yeah, to thank you. Yeah. No, I feel like that's what I've been doing, and that's kept me somewhat sane mm -hmm. here. Yeah. But going out here, I feel like you can go to a bar and, like, there's 10 million here. Like, you I don't know, know everyone. But yeah. I feel like in Charleston, when I go out, like, you're going to see comfort in people you know. And at first, like... At first, I was like, I don't want, like graduating college. I was like, get me to a big city. Like, yeah. I don't want to know everyone, which I'm so glad I did. Like, I don't have a single regret in the world because, like, now I know what I want and I know what I need and I have appreciation for the South. Versus if I just started out there, I think oh, I'd be yeah. like, I need bigger, I need mm -hmm. better. When really, I'm like, no, I know what I want and it's that. You know, it's so important to go somewhere to like see. I mean, I hated Florida. My, I mean, I didn't hate it, but I was very much. I don't want to go to college here. I mm -hmm. don't want to live here one day. Then I went to Georgia, and I was literally like, oh my gosh, I understand what people mean by feeling landlocked. I understand what people mean by how much they love Florida and how mm -hmm. warm it is all the time. Mm -hmm. I never appreciated that until before. you get here. Yeah, until it, with Georgia, and then moving up here, I'm like, I want to live in Florida one day. Yeah, I, I never. I feel the same with Long Island. I hated, uh -huh. openly hated. I was yeah. like get me out of this place like I was like wow it's a fucking trap like you know like, <laughs> yeah. I'm actually, like that person and now I'm like my house that one day sounds lovely like you know yeah. like, we I'm, always go back to our delusional. Yeah. I wonder if like everyone feels that way I, I feel like that's a such a post-grad thing 
thing to go to, to grow up flip Ooh, sorry. And move. <laughs> <laughs> like completely flip your mind yeah i think you just do grow a fonder appreciation for like where you come from and you know the way you grew up if you had a positive upbringing and yeah. stuff, which it sounds like we did so. you kind of yeah. do need to, if you have the privilege to do so you kind of do need to remove yourself for a second though and see whether if it's for going to school or if you move like you did so much you can really see it from a bigger picture whereas before like you said you probably would have been like yeah like i wish i was in new york F yep. all of you guys yeah like i could be doing way better things yeah and then you go and do it and you have so much fun you're like yeah. wow i actually love it so much exactly and i feel like me and mac that's my best friend mac we went to college together she's her mom's the one who lives in Charleston. And so she came to New York too, because like she was for Alice and Olivia. It's the coolest thing ever. So she has like huge fashion wow. into that, stuff like that. And so she came here because it was always her dream, kind of like you guys. And it was always her dream. So she came here and then like I started to not like it. And I kind of told her like I'm thinking of leaving. And then the next week she was like, I didn't tell you, but like I also was feeling the same way. And I was like, no way. Like that's so crazy. Like I never expected. But I think we both sat down and like really talked it through and like realized like, when we go home or like to Charleston and stuff, like we just were not finding FOMO here whatsoever. Like we were watching mm. stories and we were just like, I'm just don't, I don't have FOMO. I don't want to go home. I'm not craving to go to my apartment in New York City. I'm not craving that little coffee shop that person's posting versus when we're here, we like have so much FOMO. Mm. So that was like huge for Big us. Tell. When we really sat down and we're like, okay, outside factors, do you miss this place? And like, I just realized, I don't want to come back like mm -hmm. every vacation and normally it's not like it's not like when you're on vacation like oh I don't want to go home but normally you're like, excited I feel like I always see your story yeah. like you're ready to go home in yeah. your little yeah, place yeah. but like I just don't feel that way and that was very telling for me you know yeah. so telling like you if you're not listening to Empire State of Mind on your flight back no I'm kidding like, <laughs> you're not excited no Absolutely. but like you do need to have some magic Empire in State's mind it's really a joke <laughs> between me and Mac oh my god because we'll be in Everywhere we go, I swear to God, after we made up our mind, that shit is playing. That's really? So and last thing we literally look at each other. It's kind like, of a sign, though. You could take it as a sign in the reverse way of being like, you know, it's like I they're clearly that's how we're taking it. it. Yeah, you should take it that way. Because we're cracking up like her Uber home to Charleston the other weekend. He was blasting That's it. And we were like, so be so, yes, we were like, be so for real. Like, that is so funny. Oh my gosh. Wow. So that's, so you have an apartment? Are you yeah, guys living we together? Just, yeah. Oh, my God. We signed the lease. Guys, I'm so excited. I'm about to post the empty apartment tour this oh, week. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. oh, I haven't been because we went through a few, and luckily, a lot of my – so a lot of my, like – I hate saying – like, fan base. I hate saying the word. So followers. Yeah, yeah, followers. Followers fans. live – because I started my YouTube channel in Columbia, South Carolina. Of where I was the only one with a vlog camera. Yeah. Like, yeah. that's just where I started. And then, like, now – I don't realize the impact it had until I come back to visit. Uh -huh. And it's just like the most, I'm sure you guys feel that at UGA, like it's just the most rewarding thing. Cause I'll come back and like, I went to nursing school there because of you. Like I'm here cause of you. And I'm like, that oh. is so absurd. Like I'm creating like nurses. Like it's that so is so cool. freaking cool. And so like when I went there and apartment hunted, like I had a ton of people like helping us out and being oh, like, so actually nice. don't live there. Like this happened with this manager. This happened to like, da, da, da. Oh, give me the so tips. Weird. Yeah. It helped so much. We were about to sign somewhere and we found out like, the management's awful. It's super unsafe. They didn't fix the key fobs. Home. And I was wow. like, thank God, because we were so yeah. set on it. So we finally found a place that, like, everyone recommended. Oh, my god, We recommended. I haven't been there yet, but I trust it because it's a new – it's like – oh, I'm not going to talk about it. Yeah. Actually, yeah, but, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to tell you exactly I really trust it. Oh, so it's not the one you posted. I don't know if it was nope. Uncle's friend and or something. And me and Mac were laughing. We were watching the video back, and I was like, yep, this is our home. Like, da-da-da. I was like, yeah. oh, this is just Oh, not. is that the one that people were, like, the management yes. talks? And you so, would have but you got, a, you got a good – tidbit of information yeah. there yeah, like, that's no, really powerful so much. and yeah. like just go, guys i'm not kidding i went there once i went out i think i have 40 connections at the children's hospital now amazing i wow. think like 40 like that's people so being sweet. like i'll talk to my manager like oh, sweet girls who are so inviting and like here it was now i'm like best friends with a lot of my coworkers. but like starting like they tell me now it's like a joke but they were like everyone was like there's a tiktok girl starting because like oh, the yeah. manager sends out like and I would be starting on days in like a couple weeks orienting. So like everyone was like, Ugh, like this influencer, cause they mm. just didn't know about a course. And like, yeah. nobody knows me. I didn't know a single soul in that hospital. It was really scary. Like that my first scary. nursing job. And then thank God I didn't know how they felt before I started. But then yes. everyone met me and they were like, okay, she's really cute and we love her. Like she's really sweet and she's not like that. Like You're mm. so chill and very down to earth, which I'm completely like. Really yes. Yeah, and they realized like, I feel like you wouldn't be able to tell it, like at work obviously you'd be able to tell them an influencer like on the street because like i'm like da, da, da. Yeah. but like i feel like i don't 
maybe I'm wrong, but I feel like I don't give like what people think no. of an influencer. No, yeah. Y'all don't either. So like, I don't know. I feel like I had to like pave my way there, but I Prove feel like yourself a little. Yeah, yeah. I feel like it's gonna be much more comforting here because like their energy is just different. Everyone's like, come worry, like da da da. It's so chill. Like we want to work with you. Like oh, I'm that's hoping. So lovely. I'm yeah. hoping. I definitely do feel that that's a difference between I and I love the North. I, so I'm biased mm-hmm. towards it in a way, but I will recognize that I think in the South people are more. Friendly, willing to share connections, things yes, of that sort. Yeah. I think in not the north. Gatekeeping. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I do think that, and that's a generalization, of course. But yeah. I have kind of noticed that. But then on the flip side, I think like career-wise, it's been really cool living here because I feel like opportunities do just come so up, and it's like, more. oh, like can you be here tomorrow? And it's like, yes, I live down the road from there. You know? Yeah. So it's like a give and take, I guess. But I would agree that in the south, I did find that people would were generally more like community oriented, like wanted to you know, like help you help out, you out yeah. sort of without even knowing you. And I, I don't For know sure. if that's a shared experience. I definitely no, that felt makes that sense. way. I also feel like, cause I've also thought about that, like my social media career and stuff, but I think I've come to the point where like my time is so like valuable now with stuff that like, I used to say yes to like every single event. Mm-hmm. And then I started being like, what am I doing? Like, don't get me wrong. Like I'm not crapping on any events like no. obviously the brands like they put on such mm-hmm. good events but it's gotten to the point where like I have to like pick and choose where to like because leaving your house like I get so I feel like it's turning me into such an angry person I was telling Michaela on the mm. way here like I'm so mean like we're yeah. on the street and I'm literally just like huffing and puffing and angry and mm. I'm like I don't want to be this that isn't me. this isn't me <laughs> yeah. like it's changing me but like I've, I've done better because I've started saying no to stuff that like I think like won't help me out and like won't benefit or if you need rest instead or yes. just whatever yeah it is. so yeah. for sure so I think like I haven't even been going to that many events too and like I think I am excited to like this sounds bad but like here I'm a small fish in a big yeah, yeah. oh I get like it. I'm excited to be a big fish oh, yeah. <laughs> you're literally to say- like went to South Carolina there's probably so many people that moved to Charleston and like there's not as many people in this job there so that's really yeah nice. I think it'll be fun too because like when I was talking about I went to Free People Movement store, somehow just by walking in that store, the both workers knew me. The person, wow. the social media coordinator knew me. She was like, we'll hook you up with all the events, like all the stuff, like just walking there so already. Friend. Like I was like, I'm gonna so be okay. Excited. Like yeah. I'm gonna be okay. Yeah. It's gonna be okay. And right? you see, you're like so outgoing and I feel like that you're a person that that's very important to you. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like yeah. being around good people and Making stuff. Making connections, like, yeah, genuine and like, people. And being around people. Like I feel like you, yeah. you know, you've, I've, I watched your video or something where you're like living alone, like you wanted to live with someone again, mm. like, you know, from living yes. alone, going, wanting to live with someone again. That's which impressive. I feel like yeah, I was gonna say, like, that's not normal, yeah. but you're so outgoing that I totally see that. For I you think because I went from living with my last apartment, I lived with three other girls, so four total. So that was like, I loved them all, but like, that was a lot for the job I do. Yeah. And then I went to living alone, and I was like, oh, this can get a little sad. Yeah. And then, so I was like, okay, I think one other person, because Mac, who I'm living with, like, we know we can live together. We live together in college. Mm-hmm. We actually work really well together because we both know when we want to have a movie night. We both know when to shut the fork up yeah. and like not mm-hmm. talk to each other. We just work really well together, so I'm really excited. I want to talk to you about friendships again and maintaining mm-hmm. friendships. We talk a lot about making friends, I feel like, on the podcast, which, you know, we've given tips and whatever, and I feel like you've made a lot of friends in New York, but specifically maintaining, because I feel mm-hmm. like you have friends. You, I mean, you're here with your childhood friend today. Mm-hmm. Like, you have friends. <laughs> shout out. <laughs> oh, yeah. But you have... You I, always have a friend in town, and it's so impressive, because yeah, I used to do college. that, and Brooke was like, good luck, buddy. You're going to get... And I, I can't do it anymore. Like, I love my friends so much, I want them to visit, but... It's it gets a lot, so I don't know how you do it. Yeah, not even the entertain. Well, no, it's like not the just that. That's one part, but, and then also just keeping up with people and stuff. Like, how often do you communicate with your friends? Like, do you have any tips for people that are mm-hmm. you know? I'm in a lot of like long distance friendships. Like a lot of yeah. my friends live in Georgia, and I feel like through the years, like it's it's hard to keep up. You know, I don't know yeah. what's happening in their day to day life. We Snapchat, like I mean, come on, like mm-hmm. we're, no, you know? I know. So, what advice do you have to give? I guess. Okay, I feel like I'm so. Okay, this is just one way, but my private snap, this sounds so silly, but, like, I keep that thing updated like Mm. it's, like, my job. Like, I keep that thing updated, and I feel like so my friends always know what's going on in my life, but the challenge is me, like, keeping up with them. Yeah. So it helps me because I have a lot of – it's not like I have, like, single friend, single friend, single friend. I have a lot of groups of Mm. friends. So we have those group chats. Like, like, and I will – if. If I notice, like, and I have them pinned, so I'll notice, like, oh, this one hasn't texted it in, like, like a week. Then I'll be like, hi, I love you guys. Like, everyone send an update. So Aww. just, like, texting little stuff like that and being like, 
love you guys, like, what's up? Or Kaylee, how's your job going? Like, how's school? Like, what happened here? Just asking a little question. It doesn't even have to be a whole day conversation. I just feel like checking in keeps that gateway open. Because I don't, like you said, I don't have time to, like, call. Yeah. Like, me and my friend yeah. Coco, like, we'll be like, love you so much, you need to call soon. But if we realize that, like, if we keep saying that, just call. Like, just, <laughs> yeah. just call, and she gets, if I don't answer, it's whatever. Sometimes I'll do it, like, on the walk to the subway or, like, on a long walk instead of turning on a podcast. Like, I'll catch up and stuff. Do you like audio messages? Oh my god, Those yes. Are yeah. that, for me. Actually, that is the that is literally the main way I do. Like, I'll literally send something like so stupid. Like, it'll be like, like Mac got here today. I was like, hey, doors unlocked. Like, you could have <laughs> typed yeah. that out. Like, I'm not kidding. Like, I do not. I try to keep it short though because like it is. It can be annoying to listen to like a five minute audio because yeah. you can't like exit out of the app and do something I else. Know. The worst is when you accidentally like click something else Did and you're you like, know? I have to restart. No, you can hold it down. You can hold it down <laughs> and you can move the little lever to go to the middle of it. That's You're big, kidding. big. I just info. changed my life. I know because that somebody changed my life like a couple weeks ago with that. Do hold, you <laughs> hold it down? I have another question. We talked about this in last week's episode. Do you save voice memos when people send them like to you? I don't, but every, I need to. Everyone saves mine because I think I send. <laughs> I <Funny. think> yeah. <laughs> no, well, we were in a debate because I keep them and she was like, wait, it's supposed to be like it goes out into the universe and then it's gone forever. Oh, that's no, I don't I save think. them, but all my I'm friends like, I'm save talking mine. shit on the voice memo. You know? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Of course, <laughs> in case like something happens or I forget it or, I, or you know, like if you open an audio message, if you don't. Like, sometimes it goes away. And yeah, it does yeah. really fast. No, I keep meaning to save them, but that's funny because that's <laughs> yeah. kind of true. I'm like, whoa. I'm like, I'm <laughs> safe. Yeah, yeah. And then it's safe. You're like, whoa, I guess that was a good one. <laughs> yeah. No, it like, is funny. Like, funny. <laughs> Anna kept yeah. your message. Like, ooh, that was a good one. Like, yeah. what are you going to so do with that? Yeah. I know. I like the idea also of pinning group chats. I know some of my friends do that. And I guess it kind of makes sense to be like your top people. And then it's like, oh, nothing's active here. There's no new notifications. Let me Right. Them. Like, let's check in. Also, I feel like this is me, Michaela, and then my other friend Kennedy. They're like a different friend of high school uh -huh. friends. We'll we keep in touch by sending funny TikToks. Like, yeah, so I if that. I see a funny TikTok, I'll be like, "Who does this relate to?" And then I'll probably, I honestly, they're probably gonna be like, "What the fork, Anna?" But I send it to a couple groups. <laughs> me too. Yeah. To, yeah. Keeping, yeah. to keep the com you know what I mean? Like in the group chat or like in TikTok? Group chat. Oh. Uh, no, I. I'm so bad. My friends send me stuff on TikTok. I do not open. Oh, I yeah. send it in. If you want them to be seen in the text messages. Really? I'll send them in yep. group chats. But Brooke Where and do we I, go back and forth on the TikTok app? There's like four yeah. people I do that with. Yeah. I would say. yeah. You call I it a TikTok DJ. Like, this would be funny for Danielle. This would be good for Mariah. Yeah. 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 That's TikTok DJ. I try to get but personalized. when I'm telling y'all, like, I, like, do it. When I send these to these people, I guess in my mind I don't have I need to keep this relationship. Like like this is no, just me like yeah. like reevaluating how I do it, I guess. Like that's not like on my mind. I think it's just no, like you just something do I do. No, and you but you also are thinking about your friends because you're a thoughtful mm -hmm. person. So you're like, Oh, I haven't heard from my friend. You know? Yeah. Like, that's just on your mind. I don't think I don't think it should be like scientific and like right, oh, right, I need right. to maintain, like, but more mm -hmm. so I feel like you do a great job at it. Thank and it's you. really complicated with like as you as you get older and then, like, you have friends that you haven't seen in a while, still staying close with them, but then welcoming in space for new people. I don't it know if is. you have that challenge, so you know? Mm -hmm. And I feel like here I met some new friends, but a lot I knew before, but I've met some really cool new friends. I even have a group that's, like, outside of the city. They're more on, like, Long Island. They also do social media, and they're just really cool, and I love them a lot. But it's – they validate me to living – not liking in the city because they love Long Island. They love yeah. – all the places they live but they go i could never live in the city so i'm like okay like i'm not crazy like it is hard yeah. it is hard for some people like it's you know it's living. not for everyone no and i admire you for i, I had a similar experience i moved to boston and realized that wasn't for me so mm -hmm. i think it's a, an experience that people have of moving wherever it is and just realizing that not every city is meant for every person place you know like for New sure York, it's, it's a magical place but like it's not it's for not everybody, for everybody and that's completely okay i'm proud of you for like trying and yeah. admit, you know and recognizing that i think even recognizing it instead of forcing yourself to just live here and like you said but feel miserable every day yeah you know? like gliding i also feel like this goes back to like maintaining friends and like this is how i'm trying to be better about this too lately because i had a friend her name is annabelle you guys probably saw mm. she passed away mm -hmm. a couple like a month ago and we were close at one point and we weren't like not close now but like we just lost that like touch of like and swiping up to everything and stuff i feel like it helps a lot to like comment on, on a friend you haven't seen in yeah. a while text them swipe up to their story be like this is so cute like how's that going like you know like i after that happened with her i was like kind of mad at myself and i was just kind of like why didn't you swipe up about her like little braves internship like you know like and mm. i'm not saying you have to like still keep in touch with everyone but like 
I did kind of like vouch to myself to like when somebody crosses your mind like reach out like it so takes true. one second to it's reach so out easy. and like I'm not saying it has to be like a whole day hour conversation but like it is I love when people reach out to me and like check in so I'm mm. like just do it you know what I mean so I've definitely like am working on that more too because I feel like like you said like I I do good job with my close friends but like even people that have like been important to me at one point like mm. I do I don't want to lose that you know what I mean I like a thinking of you text like mm-hmm. it sounds yeah. romantic but it's not like, it means a lot of you, Hopal, as well like yeah. it doesn't even need to open this whole conversation it's just to let them know that you're thinking of them like, yeah you care about them I'm so like snap memories or like um yeah snap memories. You know, like, right. you, like, the pictures on apple now like if yeah. someone pops up that i've been talking to in a while i love like screenshotting me like this popped up today like that's, I miss you. yeah that's like, a good way too to keep uh-huh. yeah to keep up. it gives you like a me technology <laughs> honestly makes it too easy like you have no excuse yeah to, like, wait that's so nice there. you guys said that that you think i'm good at that because i feel like i like beat myself up about that like i feel like that's oh something God, i like no Absolutely i'm literally not. like i'm so bad at answering. you're posting a birthday post for someone every day how do you I don't even do those anymore. It's very (laughs) impressive. And it's like, you have like 10 million photos with them. Like, yeah. It's not even just like, like all the hugging little... photos. Yes, like yes. all my friends I like don't have photos with. I'm like, I need to be better. Yeah, you are good. Okay, <laughs> wait, impressive. one random question. What is your screen time? Because I feel like you are God. online. Like, I don't I know am. if that is like... I, I actually stopped looking at it because okay. it gets online. bad. I am no, online. I do. Because I'll be like, on like it's like new TikTok, new this, new that. I'm like, she is. Okay, my friends say that about TikTok. Like, especially my influencer friends. Like, they'll be like, and I li- they'll like look over and then they'll, I'll like have it posted and they're like, how did you do that? Like I have to retake it 10 times. And I'm like, mm-hmm. I think with how busy I am, that's the only way I can be an influencer is yeah. I literally don't think. Sometimes my YouTube videos I don't even watch through. My friends are like, you were actually insane. I don't even watch them fully through. Cause I don't, I don't have time or really no. a care. Yeah. Like, I care. you know what that's I mean? Really I think funny. that's like why some people do follow me. Like they're not looking for that. Like it's the raw. Like, like the yeah. Raw. Yeah. I'm here for the raw footage. We, um, love, we love the, the raw, raw footage. Real, like, Wait, get you it asked a the question before that. No, I said, what's your screen time? Like, I feel like oh, you're yeah. I don't mean that in a bad way, by the way. I mean it because no. I feel like you're so on top of like, and even still with managing everything. And I, this is so funny. I feel like when I think of Gen Z, I think of you, even though we're like the same age. Yeah. But I just feel like you're so on it. I you're love that. Yeah. I, w- I want to be Gen Z. Like, I feel like the older you get, you like want to be younger. Like, yeah. at, at work, it's a joke. Everyone's like, fuck you, Anna. Like, because like, you're, you're like, the no, youngest. The I'm like, you guys are so old. Like, it's fun but to it's be. Funny. Yeah. yeah. I feel like you're very in on the lingo and yeah. stuff. Like, I feel very cool when I'm around you. Okay. Yeah, yeah, very hip. Very are you 24? T- just turned 24 yeah okay same well i'm about to so turn we're 25, like the but same like, yeah yeah crazy mm-hmm. were you a baby then in your grade like younger yeah summer I was, birthday like, older. yeah i was the younger one in my summer birthday yeah oh. so yeah. yeah um but the i don't check the screen time because at work i i would take a shift from like 7 to 12 11 12 a.m super busy not on phone then like unless you're having a busy night it can like die down for a couple mm. hours and if i'm done charting like you're on your phone nobody yeah. come at me that's if you're a nurse that's literally like you're not just you're gonna sit there, there. Waiting, yeah like what so i don't look at it because it gets bad <laughs> there so yeah i don't look at my screen time I'm either scared of it. Just was, uh, did you every week mine tells me like up six percent this week maybe i should no, try, I try not I to turn look, it off. like i quickly that's a quick swipe with me oh, like, oh thank <laughs> i do yeah I don't oh, jump see. scare <laughs> yeah oh no no not <laughs> not the screen time i'm swiping that notification I yeah. better because like so bad like just look at the sky like it's okay just <laughs> look just to, like look like i'm I like know. touch grass like <laughs> touch grass i'm so yeah. dead i need to be better because like i'm like i can't believe like people don't have phones like no i what know do they do? well i just have the attention span of like a goldfish it's really bad Same. like yeah. i've gone to the point where i'll be watching youtube and i have to be on my phone no, i'm like yeah girl like look at Scary. one screen no. and our kids like at work like they're all iPad babies. Like they oh, wow. they need the iPads to be yeah. okay. Child life brings like iPads, games and stuff. And wow. I'm like, they need it. Uh, moms are like, I feel like us. We're like, okay, my kid's not gonna be. No, you're gonna need it. Everyone's gonna need it. Like they they're gonna yeah. cry. You know what I mean? I understand. Putting on like Baby Shark. Like it, <laughs> it's needed. <laughs> That's Dude, so cute. that's engraved in my head. I'm sure you've got lots of tunes engraved. Yeah. What about Miss Rachel? Is that a thing? And no, I don't know what that is. Uh, I think that's like babies, right? Oh, like maybe kids. that makes sense. I mean, I'm I sure you have it all. Them, yeah. yeah, so never mind. Maybe it is. She's like a I've heard big about YouTuber. Her. I would like watch. I was. I read like an article and then I like went on a deep dive of watching the videos. I was like, I honestly get why the kids like they're just really. You <laughs> would do a deep dive on Miss <laughs> Rachel. Oh my god! One thing about Brooke, she will deep dive. Like, who's Miss Rachel? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I well, because oh like, it will god, spark Brooke. like a curiosity, and then I'll go in. This weekend's deep dive was the tennis girlfriends. 
Oh my god. I went so in. I went so in. My eyes were tired from the amount of like watching. Wait, I actually went into that too. How long were they dating? Like, what's life on the road like? You know, yeah. yeah, Morgan does really good posts about like the behind the scenes. Yes. Of a tennis girl. I love her. I watched every video. (laughs) No, I (laughs) broke his well verse. I went so in. And then pages pop up. I was like so sad I couldn't go. Did you guys go to that? The dairy No, we were were somewhere. Nantucket. Yeah, Yeah, I couldn't go either. But I want that camo set. She's I know. Posting it's it I know. I'm literally gonna order. No, it's so sad. No, so I know. Cool. The pictures of them, like I'm like they're non-human. No, no they, they look like they first look ladies. Like, that, like they're <laughs> first ladies. The tennis girlfriends are first ladies, and you yeah. can't tell me otherwise. <laughs> you are so right. Like yeah. they walk in and they are regal. Yeah. They are everyone yes. looks at them. They're like, that's the girlfriend. That's the girlfriend. You know, yeah, like that's, that's like. And they know. Yeah. And they know it, and they're amazing, and they're fabulous, and I'm obsessed with this new era of the tennis life. I'm so cool. Wags. How do we find one of them? Well, you guys no, actually don't need no, to I find. Say, I need I was, to. <laughs> yeah, you can you can infiltrate. But I, I I mean I guess that's like what Gretchen is for for Max too it, on yeah, a different scale. But like I'm waiting for the pop the paparazzi pictures. Of oh my god! <laughs> Maybe yeah, that's the pictures of Gretchen yeah. at the hockey game. Gretchen's yeah. engaged. Gretchen's yes. engaged. Like nobody oh my god. deserves it more than them no, too. Like. No. It like gave me full body. The chills. sun's everything was perfect. I'm truly so happy for them. They deserve everything. Like I, uh, Max the, is amazing. Like they're just yeah. perfect. There's the planning else. behind that so well executed. Gretchen, mm-hmm. gorgeous, stunning, amazing. Mm-hmm. The joy. Her <laughs> the, little behind the scenes, like get ready with me. I think I'm getting engaged. <gasps> I she was so sneaky. She had all these little TikTocks ready. Uh-huh. The, she, the one I knew hands. she would. Yeah, she was yeah, ready. Like she, behind him too. It was. She probably oh, knew. So that, a rock. Do you guys want to know? No. The, what like the day you don't like to get engaged I would like but a general timeline I think I think I want an idea yeah I want to be like really surprised I want to be surprised but I also would like it would have been something we discussed like okay this year it's happening is that what you mean yeah no, I don't need to know oh I would like to know like month like, like it's gonna happen like sometime this month kind of yeah, like this. I don't know. Summer. I like. I would like to be. I, I gotta have my that. outfits on deck. How, how am I gonna outfits have my, oh, my and then like a like, ring? I feel like I want him like to know. What kind of ring? I oh want. yeah, no. There's okay, a ring, lot yes. behind the scenes, but more so like I just want to be going to dinner, be told to be dressed up in some sort of way that it's so chill that I have no idea because then yeah. I'll work it up. I feel like I don't want to be like on a trip and be like, uh huh. But also like Gretchen, like it worked for her, so like maybe that would work. No, but I feel like I'd be like, work. oh, is it tonight? Like is no, it tonight? I <laughs> and I guess she was feeling that way. I yeah, guess. but like, the trip tonight. was also a surprise, so that was really special. Yes, that was really so like, she didn't that. have to think about the trip like months leading up to it. You're yeah, so right. Yeah, it wasn't like oh well we're going to Italy and whatever. Like she didn't like, know. What she probably knew when like boom we're going next week. Yeah, yeah. So I feel like that was. We actually knew. We didn't know. know. I, this is our all, exclusive. The GTG well, exclusive. he didn't text yeah. us or anything, but when we were in the Hamptons with Max, he like pulled us to the side. And he told us, he was like, I'm doing it. He was like, I have my the Italy itinerary. I'm going to tell her in a few weeks. And then he was like, we really propose. Like, yeah. Oh Gretchen God. was quite literally right behind him when he was telling us. I know. We're like, at the club. <laughs> He's showing us on his phone the cow. And we're like, oh, I know such. Like like when you did, um when Ali Cooch announced that she was pregnant, you're like, I know something. You yeah, know. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I felt like that you with Gretchen and Max. Yeah, we were in. Max. He, that was it's so fun knowing secrets. Wait, but it was so funny though because simultaneously, then Gretchen's coming up to us. She's like, "Yeah, like I thought it was gonna happen this summer." Oh she's yeah, like, we'll see. We'll see. And then Max, literally five minutes later, is like, Italy. It's happening. Like, <laughs> like, so oh you guys are like, oh I know. It's like yeah. it's, it's hard to play along because like my best friend Autumn just got engaged too. Uh, like yeah. I knew Landon told me months ago, and like obviously like I was like planning and stuff. Yeah. But like I knew she knew because like we were on a trip together. And, like normally we're always like we're talking about 24 seven like boys like when it's gonna happen yeah. like when you want to have it and she just stopped talking about it and I was like she knows oh. or else we'd be talking about it she'd be like oh my gosh Anna like do you think it's gonna yes. happen yes yeah. she, she, she nope. doesn't even want to see your face exactly so she didn't talk True. about it I didn't talk about it we both we both had that understanding uh-huh. yeah so but oh, it was good so funny. she's oh the type gosh. of person that kind of wanted to have an idea too yeah you know no, I I say that but I'm also a triple Virgo and need a plan so I don't really know do I, I, I feel like it's going to be like a lot. You're going to like send a yeah. PDF document, like the Danielle Carolyn proposal. Mood board for engagement yeah. party that I don't know possible about. Yep. Outfits. Engagement outfits. Yep. Yeah. Yep. We yeah. did that for stagecoach. Suitable stage outfits yeah. for you. Suitable outfits for me. Yeah. Like, nails. The crowd well, I feel like your nails always like. Oh, is that I'm the ready. Bath? Yeah, no, you're ready these now. Are, um, no, this is gel. It's. It's kind of like bubble bath though. Yeah, it looks like it. But it's grown out and it's I stressing me out. Done today. But, um, I'm gonna need to know so far in advance. I get the craziest nail designs. I like I have. You're gonna have neon nails. <laughs> so it's gonna be 
of it. You're gonna know. <laughs> one hand is like all different colors. Like I have. Like, I already kind of know because we go the same nail girl, and we literally have to discuss our nails because. Oh yeah. We usually go like one day or before each other, so I'll be like, I'm getting crazy nails, so you'll be like, Oh, then I'm getting muted. Because that's my plan. Because sometimes we've done the same exact pattern without yeah. talking yeah. about it, and it's Wait, that's fine. Funny. But that's <laughs> funny you know it's fine. <laughs> it's fine if it's a muted pattern but we've definitely done sometimes yeah where it's like oh my gosh colored whole... tips like yeah wow like we're just matchy oh, yeah. matchy that's so same brain funny. do you guys want to get engaged soon no no <laughs> <laughs> everyone like when i post a q and a or we do a q and a for the podcast it's like engagement soon moving in soon it's like everything I and i just like love my life right now and Good. i feel like you do too and also yeah. ben's in med school so like there's just i'm on a yeah i got a wow. you, you gotta get the healthcare leave, talk yeah. like do i do you... I, well i did, now i understand now from like mm-hmm. I, i'm like if i this girl TikTok, she's my friend like you know like <laughs> i say to him, he's like oh yeah that's cool um i think it's really interesting stuff i think it's cool dating someone who does like completely opposite of what you do i, I, mean, I don't know if you relate danielle Definitely. like i think it's really cool to have like two about... kind of different worlds yeah, in a way for sure i like it you don't overlap there's mm-hmm. no overlap. So yeah. There's, so there's like some overlap. You're like, oh, we both enjoy this. Like this part of my job kind of correlates with your part mm-hmm. of your job. But I agree. Yeah. I could never date another influencer. I don't know how people – like it's I feel like that would be very stressful. It's very stressful. But then it's hard – like because they have to – like how is that having the boyfriends like be – like did you guys like introduce it right away? Was it like slow yeah. like to all the question. media stuff? Um, Mine was – it was like a sorority date, and I was like my tie, and I was like, mm, yeah. literally post a picture of us. I was like, that's my tie. Like, good caption. There, good there caption. wasn't even <laughs> soft launch, hard launch. That wasn't like a word. I probably would have been like, oh, I hard love launch. that. That's a thing now. I can't I wait do to too, do that. But soft there launch. wasn't, so I didn't get to do the soft. all that. And then, well, people found yours. I before. soft launched. Well, yeah, because we like went to an event, and like it was like in the he was in like in the background of like Getty Images or whatever. So like people oh like found God. him. Yeah, I mean, we knew that like he was like coming in public with me. Like, yeah, it you wasn't, knew it. We were like, okay, like. And then Getty people found him, and I was like, mm, that's my moment. Like, yeah. I, yeah. Yeah, I will mine. be posting. So then, yeah, so then you that was like my hard launch. Yeah. But I tried to soft launch with, like, the hands. And yeah, like, oh, that's, that's so fun. You did do soft yeah. launch. Like, that's so fun. Yeah. I always say my next boyfriend, because my last one was just, it was, the breakup people are just so, it's really hard to break up invested. when yeah. you post them. Mm-hmm. So guys, don't break up. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah I'm trying not to. That's my goal. Working on it. You ask a lot of questions, so I'm like, I am going to, be gatekeep so, yeah. soft for a long time. Gatekeep soft. Don't worry, I'm not soft. Or get, nothing's going nothing's on. Nothing's happening behind the scenes. I get, it's definitely a complicated thing to navigate because we share so much of our life that mm-hmm. I completely understand like why people, not even feel entitled, why people are owed, yeah. you know, to know that. But yeah, it, I do get it. They're yeah. like, well, you shared it with him, so you should share. And I'm like, but it's a two, like a relationship's two people. So yeah, I'm okay with sharing, but like that person may not be, and I don't yeah. think that's fair for me to air out something that was both you know what yeah. I mean? a thousand percent yeah you heard it here first yeah. wow i didn't think we'd get my job so date someone who does something completely different <laughs> yeah. no i know um <laughs> that's the lesson wow this has been so much fun so much fun. Anna, thank you so much we're so lucky to have gotten you in the seat oh, before you guys. jet off to I charleston know. i'm so happy my, <sighs> my farewell goodbye i know we've been literally you've been on our list of guests for honestly since really? you moved yeah. here yeah and yeah. it's just rude that it's finally happening now so thank you i'm so glad much. it did though i've been wanting to so yeah bad, so i'm really excited i know because i feel like whenever we're together we're like like when we saw each other in the Hamptons, we were like rapid firing. Yes, yeah, like let's trying go. to get Catch in. Up. Mm-hmm. I know. So no, we're still gonna see each other. Like, yeah, oh, I'll yeah. Come probably back more because we want to go to Charleston yeah. to Tell, visit all I our friends it. there. It'll so be fun. Tell I'm Charleston excited. Say hello. Yeah. Um. So where can everyone find you if they don't follow you already? Um. Instagram's just Anna Hyde. It's H E I D. And then TikTok's Anna underscore Hyde. YouTube just Anna Hyde. Love it. So Go follow. Funny. Show her some love. Yes. If you guys are watching on YouTube, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Yes. It really supports us. Um, and if you are listening, give us a five star rating and review. To mm-hmm. Say we love Anna. Yeah. <laughs> five stars for Anna. <laughs> five stars for Anna only. Yay. We love you guys and have a great week. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.